Jamaica Kincaid was born on May 25, 1949, in St. John's on the small island of Antigua, which denied their full independence from Great Britain until 1941. She lived with her mother, Annie Richardson Drew, and stepfather, David Drew. Her relationship with her mother is what portrayed throughout Kincaid's novels. Growing up, Kincaid was very close with her mother, and they had a very good bond. However, when Kincaid was about nine years old, her mother gave birth to her three brothers. This impacted her life majorly. She started feeling very alienated and disconnected with her mother as she stopped paying so much attention to her. Her mother believed that the male gender had a lot more potential for their futures, especially during the time of colonialism. Therefore, she was focusing more on her son's futures, including Jamaica. Her mother eventually ended up sending her to North America, where she would be working for a family in New York as an au pair to provide for her family overseas. An au pair is a foreign assistant working for a living as a family host. Her life in a foreign country caused her isolation, but after quitting her job, she found new interests, which led to her discovery to her literary talent. After being an editor for the New Yorker newspaper in 1969, she discovered her new ways in expressing herself. Her family disapproved of her new writing due to her semi-autobiographical expression about the difficulties of her mother daughter relationship and her feelings of isolation that came from the fact of colonialism, which was one of her recurring themes in her work. In 1493, on his second voyage, Christopher Columbus landed in Antigua, but did not colonize it until 1632. He colonized various countries in the Caribbean, which caused the theme of anti-colonialism to be spread out. Columbus was influential to Kincaid's literary works today. In 1632, English colonists who settled in the country of St. Kitts left to establish a settlement in Antigua. From that year forward, Antigua became colonized by Great Britain up until the year of 1967. The effects of slavery number in Antigua and the rest of the West Indies were strong social political influence on Kincaid's culture and family. In the mid-70s, the slavery number in Antigua increased majorly. Africans were brought to the West Indies as slaves and brought their culture along with them, like Kincaid's ancestors widely influenced by inequality of the racial differences. But for someone like me, um, the notion of, the, of a colonial world uh, was the, the only world I knew uh, as a child, and I thought it would last forever. Uh, but I not only uh, thought it had, would last forever, I thought it had always existed, that, there, uh, that all of human history really led up to this moment in which I lived, the colonial world. The main recurring theme carried around Kincaid's novels is the effects of colonialism. Due to Kincaid growing up surrounded by colonialism, it impacted her emotion to that lifestyle to the highest degree. Using life to inspire fiction, Kincaid often explored the complexity of mother-daughter relationships, along with alienation. Kincaid also uses feminist perspectives in her works. Writing novels helped Kincaid express herself in a way that she was not able to do before. In Kincaid's novel, Annie John, the main character and protagonist symbolizes Jamaica Kincaid herself as a child. In the novel, Annie John goes through issues dealing with mother-daughter relationships, racism, isolation, and struggle for independence. All of these issues connect with the recurring theme of the effects of colonialism. Annie John starts out as a young girl that worships her mother, but later is faced with reality in which she comes in realization of the colonialism that's happening in her country. Later in her story, she ends up leaving her country to start a career as a nurse overseas. Because of her disconnected relationship with her mother, she does not feel good to about leaving her family behind. This semi-autobiographical novel highlights the effects that were caused by colonialism during the time period and how it socially and politically had an effect on women. Jamaica Kincaid now resides in North Bremerton, Vermont, divorced from her ex-husband, Alan Sean, with her two children. She continues to achieve her goals and gain accomplishments. Kincaid has received many awards, including a Mountain Down Sound Award, and is looking forward and settling new goals in the future. She continues to be an inspiration to many readers around the world.